Now that I have the rear end all the way in, I have the torque arm in, the transmission in, I have all this stuff. I gotta bleed the brakes to test these brake lines. And it's like just me. So hopefully I can do it. Hopefully they don't leak. Let's pray they don't leak. So, standard bleeding brakes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start on. Start the farthest way away, which is the passenger rear. So, let's get started. Well, three hours later, we destroyed some of these, the bleeders, because they did not want to come off. And I got new ones. And they're the wrong size. And in order to get them off, I had to pull the whole caliper off. Yeah. So that was my last few hours. Just trying to get those things off. I had to use the vise. And these bad boy. To finally get them off. Kind of a bummer. I got the wrong part number from the shop. And this is what they look like after I ripped them off. Yep, but they have like some thread sealer on them too, so. Hmm. Who knows? I have to order some online and get those shipped in. So, the good thing is I put the calipers back on and I. Uh, replaced uh, some other stuff. Uh, when I get back, I will actually replace the fluid and do all that stuff that I s said I would do. And yeah, probably put some wheels back on this, which I wanted to do today. But oh well, not everything works like you want it to, right? And I don't really have anything else to do. I have some waiting for some other parts. I will see you uh, tomorrow. Or like this weekend when I order my bikes, when I get my parts. All right, new day. Went to a different parts store. And I got the ones that fit. I'll show you the part number, put it below. This is kind of a tight fit. I kind of want to um, clean the threads. I'm gonna see if the, I got a deal. see what happens. Just some lubrication oil and I'm going to try to clean it out with this first. exactly why I wanted to clean it out. There's a bunch of stuff in there. So I'll clean it out, put this new screw in, and you'll see it. All right, threads cleaned up really nice. They screwed on really nice and clean. No hesitation. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to take this brake bleeder kit. I'm gonna hook this little line up. Hook this up to the nipple. Hook that up to the nipple here. 
And then you hook up the air compressor. And it'll start pulling fluid through. And then it pulls all the air out. And then I'm going to pump on the brake of that. See if I need it. Let's pray on the loose. Maybe I should test it first. That's what I'll do. I'll test it first. I'll pump on the brakes. See what happens. Whew. Let's see what happens. All right, you guys need to keep an eye right here. See if any fluid comes out. Well, that means the caliper's bad. So, we need to replace that. You know, I actually thought I was going to be able to get all this stuff done yesterday. And it's just one thing after the next. Oh, it's so crazy. Oh well. High spirits, right? All right, it's been like a week. I'm back. Taking forever to get these. Ugh. Brand new calipers. Or the rear. Cool thing is they have like five hand working on them, so I'm working on them again. Thought about upgrading to bigger, better ones, but. I don't know. I'll just put these on there. Anyway, there's like $27 for each one of these, so we are gonna install these on here and hopefully call it done. That's what I hope. Anyway, it'll be good. We'll put these on for the very last time and then be done with it because new parts are better, I hope and I don't have any more issues. All right, let's get set up. Wrapping up this video on the brakes, we have um, pressure and everything, so the calipers are installed now. And the last thing to do is just um, put her on the ground. So I'm not, I'm not doing that in this video. We stopped some stuff to get ready. So these are the calipers, the new ones that are put on there. Got new brake pads in there. Uh, the new brake lines in there, not leaking. No leaks. And there we go. So if you like this video, um, please go ahead and uh, like it. And maybe make a comment. If there's something I missed, let me know. I think uh, some stuff was chopped out of this video that um, 
you guys may have liked to see. Just uh, let me know. Well, until next time, uh, I just I do have a lot of stuff coming up um, with the motor, so I'll be doing that. Getting this uh, bad boy installed back on the road. And then, yeah, burnouts. I'm looking forward to the burnouts. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.